All right, so Crayfish Coast. Tiny house to flip. Hi, a little bird told me you're making it big in Pinnacove. Uh, I saw what you did at Jane's, and I must say I'm impressed. That gave me an idea. I found this old shack I think could I could sell well. It needs some adjustments, of course. I have a client with a very specific taste, and nothing on the market seems to make the cut. I'm afraid if I don't find her dream home beach house soon, she'll start looking outside Pinnacove. Or worse, she'll buy something from... Achenzo? A Achenzo? A I I'm going to go with Achenzo until the game corrects me. <laughs> Hopefully it won't. Hopefully it's like, yeah, you did it right. Achenzo, woo. But we'll see. My proposition is simple. You make the renovation and I make the sale. Are you ready for your first proper house flip? Take care. Tom M. Begin job. Oh, is that not a thing I have set up? A command? Let me see. Um... Huh, it's not... That's weird. I could have sworn I had a command to get to my Discord. Well, if you want to check out the Discord, um, if you just if you can scroll down a little bit, uh, there's a link to the Discord um, below my uh, screen. Anyway. <clears throat> ah, where's my... Uh-oh, hold on. Okay, there we go. Um, I needed to... <laughs> Reclick. Wow. Um... So this is an interesting little beach house, a little modern, um, but not too bad. I kind of like the color and hold on. Is there stuff up on the roof? Let me, let me go. Let me go look up on the roof. Yes, there is. OK, there's a way to get to the roof and it just. All right. Well, then I will just. Uh, um, uh, I can't think of the word I wanted. I will clean down here. Thank you for giving me the word, brain. Um, oh! <laughs> Interesting. Uh, anyway, I will clean down here and then I'll go to the roof. Um, it's neat that... It, it, well, it's interesting that um, I could sell that one. Oh, it ain't that easy. Someone's trash isn't always another's treasure. Oh! I okay apparently um if you try to sell a trash bag because like you're not paying attention um you get an achievement that's cool anyway I sold the flower pot the plant did not go with it it has in the past I don't know why it didn't anyway um let's get this stuff sold can I oh I was supposed to sell that tree I mean it looked like it was poking out so I figured but it's cool to have con confirmation um it's interesting that you can't actually sell the tree branches. Um, is that all I need to sell? No. Oh, okay, because there's stuff over here. That's fine then. Ah! What the heck? Apparently, I turned the thing while I still had it open as I was running around. Oops. <laughs> anyway, we'll get this stuff cleaned up and hopefully it'll all be good. There we go. Is that all? No, that is not all the trash. Okay, let's use my flipper sense again. Unless, of course, it's counting the stuff on the roof. I would hope that it wouldn't. I would hope that the stuff on the roof is its own thing, but I'm not seeing where else, unless it's like in this trash can. You know what? Let's move the trash can so that when I do go up on the roof, hopefully I can just like throw things from the roof into the trash can is that too far that might be too far let's pull it a little closer there we go is this rock what i need to no okay hold on well you know oh hold on there was a board on this so no i'm not supposed to sell the lights sometimes it's kind of a uh guessing game it has to be up on the roof then right logically all right, we'll get this stuff down here cleaned up, and then we'll go up to the roof. Nice, I got a cleaning perk point. So now I can make the spray go even faster. So let's see what that's like. Hopefully... Oh, that is so much better. Ah, I can spray so fast! Yay! I am so happy. Seriously, the cooldown on this thing was crazy. Or wild, or whatever. <laughs> 
you want to call it. Um, okay, so... Yeah, we will get this cleaned up. I've been using wild more recent, uh, uh, more often recently because I just, I like the sound of it. Um, it's just, it, it flows better. But it is what it is. Anyway. Um. So here we go. Uh, let's see. Yep. Okay. That is something that I do wish. I do wish that, like, there was a flip, uh, one of the skills that you could get, the one of the flipper skills, I wish was making it so that you can see where the stains are more easily. Because as it is right now, it can be a little bit tricky. Oh, hold on. Hello. Um... So there was that, and that's the last thing I have to sell. Huh. Is that the only thing I have to... No? Okay, well, I mean, that's that's good, right? That tells me that there is something I'm missing down there. And I'm just going to have to try and find it. I do like, I do like these sunroofs. Um, that's, that's kind of cool. <clears throat> Oh, and there is some trash just up here. Interesting. All right. Well, let's collect up this trash first. And all right. Then we will grab this. And ah. Oh, too far. <laughs> I threw that a little too far, but at least I know I can. Oh, ah. <laughs> okay. It just rolled off the lid and into the trash can. Interesting. All right, there we go. Um, I mean, surely there's got to be there's got to be something I'm missing down here, right? Because it's obviously not on the roof. Is it like did it clip through the floor or something, or am I just being dense? It it could be either one. Honestly, I could just be completely missing something. Um, or it could be that it clipped somewhere and I can't actually reach it. I wonder how far my flipper sense goes, too. Hmm. Yeah, this is really... That's gonna bother me. If I can't, I... Mm, okay, it's gonna be what it is. I will do the best I can and hopefully I will find it at some point. But I'm not going to sit here constantly fretting about where this trash might be. If I wind up not picking everything up, I'll be disappointed and it'll bother me a little bit, but it's not the end of the world, especially with the way that they did things in this game where it no longer tells you the percent of what is left. Um, it just says, get X amount of whatever. <laughs> All right, so there we go. That's done. Oh, what else is, what, what else is there? Oh, this. I need to sell this. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Um, let's get this stain cleaned up. Is that all? Yes. Okay. Now let's decorate. Um, oh, I got a painting perk that I did not apply. When did I get that? Okay. So paint saver. Roll uses, roller uses less paint. It's very efficient. And pigment economy. The roller uses even less paint. You hardly need to reach for a can. Interesting. Oh, nice. I'm getting this one. Roller of Tomorrow. This paint roller can expand, allowing you to paint a bigger area at once. Get your hands on this top secret prototype. And freestyle. Paint any surface without first setting the painting area. A true artist knows no limits. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's get Roller of Tomorrow because I think it'll be helpful. Oh, right. And then I was supposed to go over here and buy stuff. Okay. Well, let's buy this patio umbrella. Um... I want it relatively lined up. Let's line it up with this pole. I I think that's good. That gives you a nice walkway around uh, so you're not like stepping on anything. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's good. And then we will put this here and this 
here. And you know what? we'll move this one back a little bit so that it's lines up there. There we go. I think that looks good. We'll put the accent table. You know what? Let's put it like this. Just so that the two legs can go back and it just it, it feels better to me. <clears throat> okay, so six snake plants and twelve spider plants. Alright. Well, you know what? Since we've got six and twelve and we've got, yeah, six boxes, we're just going to put this right in the... Actually, hold on. Can I... Oh, I was I snapped a grid or... Huh. I guess the plant boxes don't have uh, a grid at all. Well, that's interesting. That's a little bit disappointing. I would like it if it had that just because I really do like the snap to grid feature. Um, I find it very, very helpful for actually lining things up uh, and making sh I, pr precise placement has its uses too, because sometimes it'll uh, with snap to grid, it'll be like, no, 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 this doesn't go there. No, 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 that doesn't line up here, whatever. Um, but yeah, that'll work. The snap to grid feature can be very useful for actually making sure things line up well. Uh, they they all have... Oh, wait, hold on. I need to... Hmm, actually, you know what? Let's... No, actually, we'll, 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 we'll just keep it the way it was. <laughs> all right. I think that's pretty close to being lined up like that. There we go. All right. And then... I have seven more things to buy up here? Hold on. Um... Yeah, okay, there must be an extra thing that I just missed. Weird. Ah! There we go. Um, what else is there? What? Hold on. But I... What? I thought I already... Oh, this one! I forgot to put down this one. <laughs> oh, that was scatterbrained of me. Okay, well, this area is done. Um, this area is still insisting it's got trash somewhere. I don't know where. Um, and this area is kind of a mess. <laughs> All right, let's get this cleaned up. Um, it's a nice little area. Um, I definitely think it fits, uh, like tiny home vibes. Oh, hello. You've got a mop. You are cute. And since you were put in here for me to collect, I will collect you. I just want to look at you. Very nice. You know what would be really cool? And I hope that they did. Um, I hope that you are able to access your collectibles when you're at your house. So, like, if you found a special little collectible when you were cleaning a certain um, house or whatever... I mean, ideally it would be in the store, but I think that would detract a little bit from it being a collectible. You know? As opposed to you can only find it in the thing, uh, the the job you do, the job where it's set. And then after that, you can display it like, yay, I found this. <laughs> that would be cool. But I guess we'll have to see what we see. What, uh, what else do I need to sell in here? Hmm. Is it the lights? No. Is it a door? Also, no. Oh, uh, probably this plant pot. <laughs> Oh, and there's something else. Is it the... No. Okay, hold on. Let's use flipper sense. Oh! Huh! I just... I thought that was rubbish. I thought that was trash. Okay, then. Um, apparently, you can sell um, a bunch of paint-stained paint rags. That's uh, certainly something. <laughs> Alright. Let's... Yeah. Let's get rid of this. You know, considering the fact that I'm throwing those things in the trash, maybe those boxes at my house are supposed to be trash as well. Um, and it was just like... I, I, I don't know. But I've been wondering if I should just throw them away, because I've got a bunch of boxes like those. Although, granted, not quite so beat up. Oh, and there's some trash that blended in really well with the floor and the stain on the floor. Um, is that the last of the trash? Yes. Wow, what happened to, in this little kitchen alcove to make the, the, the ceiling that stained and dirty? Oh, wow, there's just stains everywhere on the, the roof of this house. What happened? 
See, that makes me concerned. Seeing these stains up here, it makes me wonder if... Because I don't think the skylights can open. It makes me wonder if the, like, the skylights are um, not uh, like sealed properly. But I don't think there's anything I can do about it. It's probably just flavor. It's fine. It'll be just fine, since it's, you know, not a real house. <laughs> but I like to speculate on the lore of things. I like to find meaning in stuff that maybe the devs meant to have meaning and maybe they didn't. Um, all right, so usually I would be taking an intermission about now, but I'm trying to make them line up with the ads. So I'm just keeping an eye um since i screwed up with my last intermission a little bit um so i'm waiting until it actually tells me ads are about to start and then i'll be like oh intermission time since apparently it tells you ads are about to start and then they start a minute or two later which is good to know um so let's get this window cleaned um and this one and then, oh, I did not get all of it cleaned. There we go. Is that this area done? Not quite. There are some surface finishes to do, which is good. I'm happy for whomsoever enjoys uh, this uh, pattern with all the little splotches. But to me, welcome back, Maud. <laughs> um, to me, it just kind of reads as paint splattered, and I don't love it. Uh, I have not had my intermission yet. Um, I'm trying to make them line up with the ad breaks. Um, and uh, it doesn't say that an ad is ready quite yet. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely going to have to look into it because I told it to play three ads every... Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. I will hydrate. <laughs> Yes, I should stretch too. Thank you for looking out for me, Maud. All right. Ah. Uh. 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 Thank you. Seriously, that felt good. Oh. Uh. Sometimes when you're sitting for this long, you really don't think about it. Ah. Uh. But that big stretch felt really, really good. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting it. <laughs> To be that, ah, uh, I guess you'd say refreshing. <laughs> All right, so let's put down the wood tile here. Um, ah, no, I made it go off. Ah, I'm just screwing up all of it. <laughs> uh, I usually walk a little after like two hours of sitting. Yeah, I try to. Sometimes I succeed. Sometimes I don't. You know what? Let's, let's actually, ah, mm, but I'm supposed to replace this whole thing. So I'll just, I'll just do that. Um, I was going to maybe put the, uh, the flooring on the wall so it would still be wood, but I, it, it, it would just clash horribly with the rest of the, uh, flow of this. So we'll just do it this way. Um, cause I think that's what the game intended. Oh, I was so close to finishing. All right. Um, there we go. Uh, but yeah, so I usually like to get up and stretch and move around after sitting for an hour or two. But sometimes I don't think about it. And then I will wind up just sitting very, very still in the same position for like three hours when I'm like intensely into a game or a book. And it's not um, great. <laughs> anyway. Um, all right. So... Let's at least try to finish out here before my intermission starts. I wonder if I'll be able to finish the entire thing. That would be cool. Um, actually, you know what? Hold on. I should probably put this here, not in that corner, because there's only one that it needs me to buy. Um, and let's see. We've got a narrow cabinet. We've got another narrow cabinet. We've got a very narrow sink. Wow, that's like no space for a sink. Uh, an oven. And is that all or is... Oh, fridge. 
there's a fridge. So we'll we'll get that put up. Um, let's see. How do I want to arrange this? If there was a a a, a, a window on this wall, that would make it easy. I always like to put um sinks underneath windows when I have that option but there isn't one so oh well all right let's put the sink here um for now and we'll see if this works out and then we'll put this here the fridge is pretty narrow but I think it might still be too wide for this spot oh no it like it fits almost perfectly nice can I open it fully I can okay well the fridge is gonna go here um, and then we'll just put these here and yeah, I think that looks good. <laughs> All right. So let's hang up the cabinet and we will line it up so that it's perfectly flush and you can't see any of the backing underneath it. Cause that, that always irritates me a little bit when I, oh, hold on. Uh, I put it on the wall sideways. <laughs> There, that's better. That should be. I didn't. I didn't even see that until. Okay, um, let's put this hanging cabinet above. Ooh, it's not centered well above the stove. Let's use uh one of these narrow ones then, and hopefully that'll make it a little better. No, it's still off. Shoot. Okay, well that's not going to work as well as one might hope. Um, and I think I should probably, let's put that there. I think I should probably put one of these big ones above the sink, just like so. Just because I think it'll flow a little bit better. Um, and then hanging cabinet. Hmm. All right, well, you know what? Because of the way that this is set up, I will just put this little one here. It's a little bit wonky with how it is, and I don't love it but that way there's like it it there's too big and then the small one I, I think I think that'll do well enough all right so let's let's see where should I put the sofa I mean if I put the sofa here it's in a nice secluded little nook but and I can you know what yeah I think I'll put it here it, I think it'll work well here. It's not blocking any path to the door. And then you can just like sit here and just sit on your couch and look out at the waves and the ocean. I think that'll work really well. All right. So coffee table. Let's see. Ooh, um, I think I'll want to put the coffee table a little closer to the sofa just so that it's like not being tripped over when you come in the door. That's like, oh, that's no space. But you can always just like sit down on the couch and push it out with your foot. <laughs> and, you know, these the, the bars on it would make it easy to just loop your foot in and pull it back toward you when you're done. Although I guess you could just, you know, actually stand up and walk around to the other side and nudge it back with your calf or something. <laughs> oh, hold on. I missed a cabinet. Um, let's put this above the refrigerator. Oh, oh, that's off. Um... You know what? Let's stand on top. Usually I'd stand on top of a chair, but let's stand on top of this so that I can... Okay, there is enough clearance. Good. Oh, I am so glad. It was going to drive me crazy if I had to, um, like, remove the cabinets up to fit with this. But no, it was just that I couldn't get the right angle. That works. That makes me happy. <laughs> Okay, so there's a cabinet, a bookshelf. Oh, there's a stovetop. Let's put that here. Do I have... Is there a... Is there a rain shed? No, that's a bread bin. It's a nice looking bread bin. A little metallic. I'd prefer wood, but it's it's decent. Um, Let's see. There's a shelf, a shelf, a desk, desk organizer. I am not seeing a, a rain shed. Oh, well. Well, that's fine. Um, oh. Huh. Darn it. Okay. Um. So, apparently, 15 minutes ago, there was an ad. I am sorry about that. I, it did not tell me that it was about to run an ad that did not come up 
at all. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, I am very sorry that I did not take an intermission with that ad. I just... It didn't let me know. And I... Uh, the last time that I took my intermission at the right time, it told me that... Um, it, it didn't start until um, like a decent chunk of the way and I wound up sitting here for like a minute waiting for the ad to finish up. So I was going to wait until the ad said that it was, you know what, let's, let's spin this around, um, that it was about to run the ad and then I was going to go on intermission and it just never told me. And I wasn't paying attention to the little numbers up top. So I am very sorry. I, that i that was my bad i should have just taken the intermission when i wanted to because it says that the ads were um 17 minutes ago <sighs> darn it okay well i will keep an eye out i should uh you didn't get any ads so you're cool okay cool that, that's something at least. If it didn't actually play ads for some reason, that's a little bit weird, but eh. I only run the ads so that people don't get pre-rolls. Pre that's my only purpose behind them. I'm not like, oh, I'm going to make so much money off of ads. Yeah, no, no. I, I do not care about whether or not people watch the ad. I do not care about whether or not people get the ad. I just want to make sure people don't get stuck with pre-rolls when trying to enter my thing. Uh, stream. That's the word I wanted, stream. <laughs> so, and I will take intermissions so that, uh, one, because I feel like it allows me to pause so that the ads don't break up the flow of my video, and two, so that people can get up and take care of themselves. Oh, you know what? I should not have this here. I should not have that here. That's right next to a door. Um... I'll, I'll move the, the desk over here, and that'll hopefully be better. <laughs> here we go. That's that's a little tall. Let's 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 bring that down some. There we go. That's better. Um. So yeah. So long as nobody had my stuff interrupted by three minutes of ads, that's that's what's important to me. Um. So I think I will finish up this area then, and I will go on a brief intermission. Um, you know what? Although, actually, I mean, it's it's already been 20 minutes. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure what I want to do. <laughs> um, I could just wait until the next intermission and try to be very, very careful and very aware. Uh... Can I explain what this pre-roll thing is? I've heard some streamers mentioning it. So when you have pre-rolls, it's ads that play... Uh, tank the intermission? Okay. Uh, pre-rolls are ads that play as soon as somebody tries to come into your video. They don't get to watch one second of you. It just they click on your video and they get hit with however long pre-roll ads your channel or Twitch has decided to give them. Uh, and not everybody loves this idea. Not everybody loves the idea of people having to, you know, watch ads just to access your content. Uh, and some people, some viewers will just tab away if they get pre-roll ads, which I can understand. I'll watch the pre-roll ads if I want to, like, see somebody, but it's just, it's kind of, um... I, I just I don't like the idea of, I, I don't like the practice personally. Um and so what uh let's see. Um so but Twitch eventually decided that people should get to control whether or not their viewers necessarily have to watch pre-roll ads, but they decided to do this by saying basically, hey, ooh, that's, uh, I, I got so used to looking at this nice clean area and then suddenly, yeah, um, anyway. So, as I was saying, um, 
Oh, nice. I got a collecting trash perk point, so I can upgrade my bag. I'll do that in a minute. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> um. Ads. So you can have pre-rolls disabled if you play at least three minutes worth of ads every hour. That's the deal. That's that's how it's set up. Um, and so if you don't, uh, and you can make, you can have it be more, you can have it be less. Um, well, you can't have it be less. If you have it be less than three minutes every hour, they're going to hit everybody with pre-roll ads to watch your stuff. Um, you can choose to have pre-roll ads and the three plus minutes every hour, but I'm just generally opposed to the ads. Um, and so it's kind of a, I have to make a decision on what is most fair for my viewers. And I think what is more fair for my viewers is not smacking them with a bunch of ads just to even be able to access my content in the first place. But that's just my interpretation, my decisions. Other people have other things that work for them and I'm happy for them, you know, but that's just, that's, that's how I feel about it personally. So yeah, that's what pre-rolls are. Ads that roll, that run before you get the video, before you get into the stream. All right, so let's see. That is probably intended to be... Oh, I should have just kept this because it was the... I, I shouldn't have sold that. I Usually, um, when I'm playing... I should get that uh, trash one, too. So let's get the biggest bag. Anyway. Um, what the heck? Hold on, I just... What? Wait, what? Um, I think I discovered a bug. Apparently, if you, ha if you're holding surface, a surface finish, and you go into your, is it just into the park menu or is it into any menu? Hold on, let me see. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going uh, after the stream i'm going to report this to um in the discord in the bugs hopefully it's already been reported and they are working on it but um yeah that's i mean it's a private game so i guess duping doesn't matter so much although it might not actually be duping it might just be closing up the box and making it take longer for you i don't know um but it didn't look like uh it had decreased at all Oop. uh whoops okay well i guess i'll just do that so that it oh that's 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 gonna oh actually hold on i have a duplicate thing um i have a duplicate option so let's uh is it copy style or duplicate let's try copy style okay find surface finish in the store um there we go because that's that's gonna be visible and that's just that's gonna look really really jarring <laughs> Uh, well, they have a Discord channel in general. Oh, right. Um, and in that Discord channel, among other things, there is a place where you can report bugs. Um, there's also a place to, like, share your streams. There's a place to just talk in general about the game. There's a place to show off what you've done in the game. It's it's really cool. I, I, I definitely like their Discord um and i like the like the stuff and just how player friendly they're trying to be um it just it makes me happy <laughs> um so yeah i'll go and i'll see if anybody has reported um accidental closing of the box <laughs> when you enter and exit the menu Actually, you know what? Hold on. I just put some stuff down and I've already used it. So let's try this. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe it is just the menu or maybe it has to be right after you've opened the box, but before you actually use any of the finish. I don't know. I think I'll have to do some testing on this. Um, 
Okay, so there. That's done. Let's get this outfitted. We'll do the shower. That fits perfectly. I like that. It fits well. That makes me happy. <laughs> um, and then, oh, that's not what I meant to do. We'll grab the toilet and let's see how low. Okay, that's as low as I can make it. Um, do I really want it that close though? No, I think, I think this distance is good. Although, shoot. Hmm. I would also like the, you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll move it over a little bit more. There we go. We'll, we'll have it here. Um, that way we can have the sink and put the mirror up above the sink. Ooh, uh, shoot. Okay, um, let's move the sink over a bit then. There. Okay, that, that works. That It's still lined, nicely lined up with the lines on the wall. Um, that's a great thing about small indie companies. They usually listen to the players, right? I love that. Big companies, I know they have a lot more players. They've got a lot more on their plate. They're worrying about, you know, creating the next game. They're worrying about, you know, adding stuff to the game. Um... And honestly, some of them just don't entirely maybe care as much as would be ideal. Um, not to say they don't care about their player base, just they have other things on their mind, you know? Um, and not that the indie companies don't. Obviously, they do. And it's a lot harder when you've only got a few people. Um, but they actually try and stay connected to their communities. Um but on the other hand, it's a little easier for them, I think, just because un un unless they go like viral and get, you know, hundreds or thousands or millions of players, then it's much harder for them. And I just plus it might just be a thing about not being jaded by, you know, um, either time or, you know, corporate decisions or anything like that. I don't know. It's but yes. The point is, it's very nice that indie companies care. <laughs> All right, this is a long window, so let's do the circling instead. Um, big company developers usually can't do anything if they want because of corporate. Yes, and that's another thing. When it's an indie company, they are answering only to themselves and, you know, whatever laws are where they live. Um, and where they sell their stuff. Um, big companies, they've got stuff that whose job it is to protect the company. Um, and so they want a certain image to be put out. They want certain things to be said. Um, and so even if necessarily they do want to tell you something, they might be prohibited in what they can't say. So that that's true, too. All right. So let's get to painting now um all right you know what in here i can totally paint the inside of the window it's not gonna look weird like it would have in the other house yay <laughs> anyway so there we go i have not played tears of the kingdom yet i wanted to finish <laughs> uh breath of the wild on stream and then life got crazy and then i kind of um got distracted by other things other games um and then this came out and i'm like oh i really wanna i really wanna play this game you know um because i've been waiting for it and because I, I just yeah um and yeah and i kind of i'm not in a zelda mood basically uh whoa uh Okay, then that's, um, what in the heck is going on here? Is it just because I was trying to paint from too far away? I think it might have been because it was kind of, but okay. I mean, I guess that works <laughs> weird. Yeah, right. Um, all right, let's get this stuff all painted. Um, here we go. There we go. I think that's good. Uh, we'll refill the roll. And I'm assuming I have to paint the other wall as well. 
Um, so yes, I will likely get back to Zelda at some point. Um, maybe after I play this game. Maybe after I play this game and then the first house flipper. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't made up my mind yet. Um, but when I'm in a Zelda mood, I'll get back to it. The only thing is, I would have to go back and... Um, like, finish off the first Zelda. And it's like, you know, I got the Master Sword. I got a house. Um, I was gonna do that stuff. And then I just, you know, life got busy. I didn't want to play it unless I was streaming it. And maybe I'll, like, play it for a little bit. Um, we let's make the paint thing go around circles uh maybe i'll play it for a little bit and then yeah like offline just to get back into the habit of it and then i will come back like just get used to the controls and be like okay guys i know it's been a little while but um i'm going to finish off <laughs> zelda and uh you know breath of the wild so that i can move on to <laughs> I mean, admittedly, that's kind of a problem that I have. Um, I love playing games and I love experiencing story, but sometimes I'll wander away from a game before it's done. Other times, you know, the game and it's not like a length of the game thing either. Because sometimes I'll wander away from a game, um, even if I've only been playing it for like... Uh, you know, a, a handful of hours, like 10 or 15, I always get sidetracked, right? And it just, yeah, my, my brain is a fickle little thing. Sometimes it'll be like, yes, let us play this and we will play it into the ground and we will play this game for 200 hours. And if the game ends before that gets here, I will be sad and want to play it all over again, right then, right there, because I'm just not done and other times it'll be like yeah i played this game for 10 hours and i'm really really enjoying it but ooh, shiny there's something else to play my brain has decided that it doesn't feel like playing this anymore it would much rather play blankety blank honestly usually dqb2 <laughs> uh i love i i I'm, that's 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 hands down my favorite game though so that's not surprising um I get hit with a uh, a desire to play DQB2 every three or four months. <laughs> um, it works the same for you? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's, it's, and like, it's something I was worried about before I started streaming because it's like, they're going to want me to, oh, is it showing like the actual time? Huh. Well, we'll see if the, the minute ticks over. Um... Anyway, uh, as I was saying, it was something I was worried about before I started streaming because it's like d d they would probably appreciate me actually finishing a series and playing it all the way through. Um, and then I don't. <laughs> uh, have I played City Skylines too? A lot of people started playing it. Reminds me of SimCity. I have played City Skylines too. Um, I have it on the PlayStation because it was on sale. Um, I enjoyed it, um, just like I enjoyed SimCity, but that's definitely one of the games where I get, like, distracted very easily and want to go play something else. I think because it doesn't have a whole lot of story and it's not so easy it's not like I have specific people in the world to connect to to create stories and, you know, I guess the common parlance is headcanon about. <laughs> okay. So I've got a quest to buy some stuff out here and I've still got um, some trash out here that I just don't know where it is. I just, is it? And I can go to the trash bag and I can hit flipper sense, but it's not showing anything. Anyway, yes, I enjoyed it, but I get especially distracted with that one. Let's let's see if I walk wide around this. Maybe I'll see it like 
under the foundation or something. <laughs> and hopefully we can find it. Uh, yeah, I like playing stories that have a... Or games that have a story and an end goal, right? It's just... Oh, it's so much better when you have a goal you're working toward. And I... Oh. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna guess I just got a point for flipper skill. Uh, for flipper, for, for the, yeah. Um, oh, I've got one for surface finishes. Did I forget to apply that or did I just, uh, does this game have an end goal? Yes. Um, it definitely does. Ooh, make it big. Let's get that one. Um, oh, okay, yeah, flipper skills. So do I want to move faster? Do I want to, you'll see the highlight for longer even longer, bigger radius on the flashlight. Um, anyway, real quick. Yes, this game has an end goal. Um, the end goal is do all of the, uh, <laughs> uh, story missions. Um, cause you'll get like, Hey, help me fix up this house. Hey, help me fix up that house. And then it kind of has a, um, bonus like like a uh, after you've played the game or while you're playing the game um where you buy your own houses to flip and i'm assuming because this house is something that i'm uh fixing up so that my friend can flip it i'm assuming after this mission i'll be able to buy my own houses that i can uh decorate however i want and do whatever i want with uh instead of being set to buy this item buy that item paint it with this color use these finishes etc um all right so flipper skills let me actually read these aloud uh, athlete you can sprint even if you carry something in your hand just watch your step uh, eye for detail when using flipper sense you'll see the highlight for longer you can find it all when using flip, uh, laser focus when using flipper sense you'll see the highlight for even longer nothing will escape your eye or more flashlight your flashlight shines light in a bigger radius in case you choose to work overnight since i'm struggling so badly with this house and trying to find it let's do this oh uh, one neat thing about this is that um, the perks, when you apply them, they're not permanent. You can reset them and uh, reapply them as you so desire. So I really like that. That is cool. Um, all right. So maybe it's up here and I just I walked past it. I don't know. Or like I said uh, earlier, maybe it just fell through the ground and I'm never going to be able to find it ever. Um, <laughs> I really hope it's not that last one, but I don't, know, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how much longer having it last longer really is, though. And OK, yeah, I'm just going to assume that there uh, it may say that there's trash to be found, but um, I'm going to assume I can't actually do so. <gasps> Yuki, hi! Welcome. Thank you for the raid. How are you doing? How was your stream? It's good to see you. Yay! My sis is here. <laughs> my bestest of friends. <laughs> um, I would give you a shout out, but you know what? I'm going to give you a shout out because Yuki is cool. You should go watch her if you want. Um... And that should work. Let's hope. Um, did it not? Uh, hello, how be you? I am doing okay. I am enjoying this game. It is having fun. I cannot... The button is not working. All right. Um, let's try this. What the heck? Huh. Okay. Well, the stream deck is not letting me do a shout out the conventional way, so I'm going to try it some other way. Um, it's possible that it resets some stuff. So, let's hope I did, oh, no, I did not do that right. <laughs> Sorry. Shout out, Yuki! Did it work this time? I don't know, but that's weird. Okay, it's not working. Point is... Go check out Yuki. She's awesome. Anyway, let's finish this up. Uh, um, so, how are you doing? Um, 
right? Bad Twitch. Mean Twitch. <laughs> All right, let's set up the table. Let's set up the table over here so that it is... There we go. <sighs> okay, so we will just slide these in here and then that will be the end of this house, I think, because it's not letting me see where I need to... what I need to throw away. It just says there's something that's trash, but it's not telling me where um here we go we'll close this that's all good um weird um all right so <sighs> yes i know uh, huh apparently if you've got anything left it'll at least be blinking uh quest marker at the top so that's cool i mean that makes me feel a little bit better um you know what i could drive myself crazy for an hour trying to find this thing i'm not going to i'm just going to accept that it's not fully finished oh wow that is a good amount of money to earn wow twenty-five thousand nine hundred one. that's that's not bad okay yeah let's finish the job uh, I mean, it makes sense since this is something that was being fixed up to flip, but wow. 